8.1 says define the term em of a battery uh, that is maximum energy provided by a battery per unit charge passing through it maximum energy provided by a battery per unit charge passing through it right and then now we can go to 8.2 8.2 says calculate the reading on ammeter A1. So now what we have to do, we have to analyze our circuit before we answer any questions. Uh, clearly, uh, this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. Uh, current flows from the positive to the negative, but then it cannot bypass here. It has to take the long road, right? So our current uh, is flowing uh, just like how I'm indicating uh, on our sketch, right? Uh, here at this point, it spills because we have resistors in parallel. So here, um, on this question, we are told that uh, switch S is now closed, right? Uh, which is situated here. And then uh, the ammeter reading on A2 is 0 0.3 amps, right? So here on A2, we have 0 0.3 a and then it goes on to say that the reading on v2 is 6.8 volts now we can attempt to answer our question you will realize that a1 is in series relative to the second right so a1 is going to read i total so what this question is asking us is basically to find i total the total current um, on this path here after the current split, right? We have a current of 0.3A, right? And then what we can do is to find the current uh, that this 20 ohm resistor is going to experience, right? Then the sum of those two will be equals to I total because the current is only split in here. A portion will go up and then another portion uh, will go to the 30 ohm resistor. From our definitions, we know that in parallel, uh, the current is different, but the voltage is the same, right? So we can say VP is equal to I uh, multiplied by R. So we're going to calculate VP using the 30 ohm resistor, right? Uh, that is because we have the current and the value of that resistor. So that will be 0 0.3 multiplied by 30, which is going to be 9 volts so now we know that the voltage that the 20 ohm resistor is going to experience will be 9 volts right and then the value of the resistance is 20 ohms so now we can calculate the current on that line right so here what i wrote here is for the 30 ohm resistor now we uh, take our attention to the 20 ohm resistor so we're gonna say again vp is equals to i multiplied by r we already know VP from the 30 ohm resistor, right? So that will be 9 being equal to I multiplied by 20. So the current uh, will be equal to 9 divided by 20, uh, which is equal to 0 0.45. Now we know that I total uh, will be equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.45, uh, which is equal to 0. 75 amps and then now we can move to 8.3 so for 8.3 uh, we are asked to calculate the total external resistance of the circuit right uh, resistance total is always equals to uh, the resistance in series plus the resistance uh, in parallel so which resistors are in series and which resistors are in parallel uh, the 30 ohm resistor is in is in parallel with the 20 ohm resistor right and then x uh, is the resistor that that is in series relative to the circuit right uh, so let's start with the resistors in parallel so we're going to say rp is equals to r1 multiplied by r2 divided by r1 plus r2 right uh, this formula works you can also uh, do it using uh, 1 divided by rp is equal to 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 and so on that formula will perfectly work so here for r1 let's take 20 ohm as r1 so we're gonna have 20 
multiply by 30 divided by 20 plus 30 and then if you put that in your calculator you are going to get 12 ohms right so we are done with uh, our resistance in parallel now we have to move our attention to our resistance in series so let's come to resistor x for resistor x we know that uh, so let me just denote here that we're talking about x we know that uh, it's going to experience it because it is in series uh, relative to the circuit and that will be 0.75a is what we calculated in 8.2 and then we know that uh, the voltage is said to be 6.8 volts so now calculating that resistance becomes pretty much straightforward so we're gonna have v equals to i multiplied by r so the resistance will be equals to uh, the voltage divided by the current right what's the voltage the voltage is 6.8 and the current is 0 0.75 and then <coughs> when you put that in your calculator you get 9.06 ohm uh, so that will be our rs right so now we can say r total is equals to rs which is 9.06 plus rp which is 12 so 9.06 plus 12 uh, will give you 21.06 uh, uh, ohm so our resistance uh, total is 21.06 um, uh, ohm and then from there uh, we have 8.4 which is calculate the internal resistance r of the circuit right uh, the current is the same everywhere in the circuit right uh, on the resistors uh, on the external resistors and even on the internal resistors uh, in the internal resistor so that is why emf is equals to i which is the current multiplied by the external resistance plus the internal resistance what's the value of the emf is given to us as 18 volts and then what's the current we know fully well that the current is 0 0.75 and then what's uh, the external resistance uh, that is 21.06 plus r right so now what we can do we can divide both sides by uh, 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 cancel out and uh, now we are left with 21.06 uh, is equals to 18 divided by 0 0.75 um this we have plus r here we have plus r i'm making a mistake uh, so that is 21.06 plus r is equals to 18 divided by 0 0.75 now we can make r the subject of the formula right we're gonna get the internal resistance uh, being equals to 18 divided by 0 0.75 uh, minus 21.06 and then if I put that in my calculator I'm getting um, the internal resistance uh, to be 2.93 ohms and then uh, we can move ahead to 8.5 8.5 is saying resistor X is now replaced with another resistor with a lower resistance how will the reading on voltmeter V1 be affected by this change right so let's go a uh, look at uh, v1 v1 is connected across the battery right uh if the current is flowing to external resistors and we have a voltmeter conne connected across the battery that voltmeter will read v external if there's no current flowing to external resistors then it will read emf but then here clearly we have the 20 ohm the 30 ohm and resistor x when switch s is closed right so our voltmeter v1 will definitely read v external but we know fully well that v external is equals to uh, current total uh, multiplied by resistance external so now resistor x is replaced with another resistor of lower resistance right so what's going to happen to resistance external resistance external will go down right it will go down so clearly here when resistance total goes down v external 
will also go down and then we are asked what the reading of the volumeter will be right and uh, the change uh, will be decreased because clearly uh, when a resistance external go down a uh, voltage external goes down and then 8.6 says we should explain our answer in question 8.5 without any calculation uh there's something i didn't say when i was explaining the decrease right but then now i'm gonna touch on it uh maybe the question you're asking yourself is that when the resistance decrease and uh, don't the current increase and uh, that uh, v external will stay the same right uh, because we know that uh, the current is equals to v divided by r so if we say in r decrease then why shouldn't the current increase and then nothing happens to uh, v external but then the thing is emf is constant right and then emf is equals to i r plus i multiplied by internal resistance so we say in uh, the external resistance will go down right when the external resistance uh, go down uh, the current will definitely go up right but then uh, let's look at this part of the equation here uh, r stayed the same and now the current went up and we need emf to be constant so there's no way for v external to increase or stay the same it has to decrease so that the emf remains a constant so even though the external resistance is decreasing the current will not go up such that um v external stays the same or goes up 